Yo what's up guys, Bryce here and we're back at it again for another video. Today I will be showing you guys my tier 1 race at Russia. So this race was definitely a less eventful race than the first uh, race that I had at Singapore. So I definitely think it was a lot smoother. I didn't finish exactly where I wanted, but it's not my quickest track. I'm definitely more excited for Japan, which will be next week. So in qualifying, my first run, I got a 132.1, but that still was not quick enough. And the second run, it actually got invalidated and it wasn't even on the lap. It was the corner before the lap. I tried to use as much apex as I could and it still got invalidated. So that was a bit disappointing. But the last lap, I improved my time just a little bit, but it still wasn't enough. And I got pushed down to P11. And we go green in Russia and it looks like... Yugos got a reasonable launch, but Copies is also very good. Uh, Yugos already closes in here that Copy doesn't slip through early enough, but he gets alongside in the Williams. Maybe he can uh, break him. He doesn't even take the slipstream. Behind them, Julian has already put himself into a good position. As Copy goes deep, he makes contact with Yugos, and Julian's going to be able to slip through here, isn't he? The racing point challenging Copy. We're going to go yeah, into turn four. It's three wide into turn four. Wow and Daddy. And they're coming very close to Hugo. Oh, Julian. Down the inside. Julian's pulled the sneaky. He's in the lead. What an incredible start coming from P4 on the grid. And now the racing point's in the lead. Hugo has kind of thrown the lead away here. He's in P2. Now Copy wants through because he's been outdone by Julian. And of course, Julian is the one he's going to want to beat. Wow, fighting off Daddy Co in the meantime. Yeah, he wanted to go around the outside there. That's not going to work. And now Icewind right on his tail, looking to make up into the top five positions. But Julian, four corners, four positions. Wonderful racing so far from these top guys as we would expect. The start of the race went pretty good. I was pretty aggressive trying to get some positions at the start. And from here on out, I was just trying to drive a consistent race. A few laps into the race, I was following the pack and just trying to stay consistent and not get into any accidents and maybe five or four laps after it was around lap 10 and i was the only driver that hadn't pit yet i was doing pretty consistent laps on the soft tires and i felt like i could um keep putting in consistent laps so i drove as far as i could i think i pit on lap 11 and i came out in 12 i believe just behind the five car train and from here um, it was very hard to get past them because every single one of the drivers in front of me had DRS so it was pretty much no advantage to me but I still had a really good battle with the Red Bull so here is some footage from that battle so Bryce is the last soft runner into the pits um, he's gonna come out in the light cruiser train I think just on the back oh, of it oh yeah yeah he's gonna struggle to hang on to them or I think he's yeah he's just with them so that's what worked out perfectly for him I mean I would say now that he's got fresher tires but 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 it's Sochi it doesn't really matter just gonna turn it to the inside as he's already well ahead as we come into the corner late breaking by Popo he locks oh, up oh and Bryce went down the inside there of Gary as well Gary was caught napping watching the fight ahead probably but Bryce is trying to go around the outside here he's not gonna be able to break late enough or is he trying to hook it it's not going to work there, but uh, who was past? That's Popo has escaped the light cruiser train. Gotcha. So Overspeed was in the pits. He comes out behind NJJ. Quite a while behind, actually. So, um... <clears throat> and who's that? Who's this uh, running very... Two drivers running very close. It's Bryce Gary and Gary. Gary! Oh, God. That was going to end was, in two years, obviously. Whoa. Yeah, but they, they have reacted really well to that. I mean, the fact that they made contact wasn't perfect. Oh, now Gary actually goes down, down the inside, inside of Bryce. In a I think Bryce place. is also going to have to give that up. Oh, I don't yeah, think he is. He's able to a little bit of a that. nudge. Yeah. I mean, I want to give, cre give credit to them as well, of course. Touching there isn't optimal, but I think as soon as they realized, oh, this is got not going to end well, they... Um, oh, both... I saw Bryce cut oh, that corner there no. in three seconds. Yeah, they, they eased off the throttle. And um, that is what caused them to not die there. I'm sure yes, that the, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, Bryce actually on the outside. What do you mean? Um, no, just some tier two drivers. You keep the throttle planted once they're going into the wall. Really? Moving you mean, on. You mean me killing Larson in Singapore? Me and you. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that's actually <laughs> what I was thinking about anyways. Um, 
Some drivers would have kept the foot in there and uh, killed each other, but they didn't, so I can appreciate that. Now during this battle I definitely was losing time because my tires were slowly uh, wearing out a bit more and my ERS was getting very low and I even had to conserve some fuel towards the end of the race so I backed off a little bit and then on the last lap um, I might have been a bit too overly aggressive but I did try to pass them and we were kind of uh, side by side going into the last corner but overall it was a good race and I didn't finish exactly where I wanted but I'm, I was still pretty happy with where I finished considering that uh, I didn't finish at the back of the pack. Like I did last week because of a poor incident. So there's a lot to learn from this race but I'm gonna put it behind me and go to the next race and hopefully we can get a better result in the next race but I still think I drove a really good consistent race and I'm still pretty happy with that considering it's only my third race so um, every race I'm trying to improve as much as I can. So if you guys did enjoy leave a like down below and you guys should be seeing Japan hot lap guide coming out pretty soon. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.